All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Lord's elect, wherever you may be scattered. This is the book of um, Second Ezra 16 and verse 17. <clears throat> And it reads, Woe is me, woe is me, who shall deliver me in those days, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils sh shall come? So, <clears throat> it's basically another faith video and the condemnation of two thirds, man. You know? Um,. So this is Ezra just speaking basically into the future, man, because of, because of his vision he got because of because of the bad times that's gonna be fall that's gonna be on the earth that's gonna come on the Israelites and not just Israelites it's gonna be all over the earth but it's gonna be mainly like the scriptures say uh Jeremiah thirty and seven Jacob's trouble man you know you know but um <clears throat> said who shall deliver me in those days man woe is me woe is me. So this is Ezra just seeing how bad it's going to be. And Ezra just knowing he probably standing this lot in the end of days, right? Basically, as a prophet, coming back coming back as a prophet, man. You know, because the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, right? Um, <clears throat> so the beginning of sorrows and great mourners, the beginning of famine and great death. See, the Lord is bringing famine on this world, man. The, the Lord, though it be orchestrated through Esau, even the Lord control all, man. Left and right hand side. So... Esau Edom is doing the bidding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Wherever it may be, because Esau Edom is the sword of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know? Um, up, up on his people, man. The Israelites who, who rebelled against him, you know, after after giving after the giving of the laws through Moses on Mount Sinai, you know, after the deliverance of um after the deliverance from the Egyptians, man. You know, from from the hard bondage that the Lord Basically, even that was orchestrated by the Lord because even the, the Lord had us to go to Egypt, had us in slavery in Egypt, man. You know? <clears throat> but it said, uh, the power shall stand, it said the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What should I do when these evils have come? And what we're gonna do when these evils come, man, we're gonna we can remain we're gonna we're gonna remain uh standing firmly in our faith. See how about some y'all was shot, man? We have faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai that He gonna deliver us in these times to come, man. You know, cause the Lord say, "Put our trust in Him." Though who trust in Him, hey, the Lord's gonna deliver them, man. You know, it's it's about trusting, it's about fear, it's about faith, man. You know, you know, and it's about showing our uh our faith through our works, man. You know. <clears throat> It said, Behold, famines and plagues, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, even although all this shit is going on in these last days, and you got prophets out here breaking down the uh, the scenarios that's happening in the earth and, and, and filtering them through the scriptures, Two thirds still won't turn away from their wickedness, man. Two thirds will not turn away from their wickedness, man. It said, for all these things, they should not turn away from their wick. They will not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Um, behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then, shall the evils grow up on the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So, though shit is cheap as hell, you still can go get your um. A loaf of light bread. Uh, you still got that great value bread, probably a dollar, a dollar loaf or whatever. Um, you can go get you some canned goods, 50, 60 cent, you know, from Walmart or whatever. You know, victual still cheap up on the earth. Gas, gas don't drop the dollar, you know. Um, it still ain't, it still ain't in that hyper, in, 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 it still is not in hyperinflation, man. It have not been hyperinflated, though it's been inflated. It haven't been hyperinflated, so these people still think themselves to be in good case, man, because they still getting them, um, they still getting them benefits, you know, and them benefits even come from your how about some y'all was shot, man, you know, because the scriptures say, hey, you, 
You receive benefits in your life and not have known me. Yeah, you have not known me, man. The Lord, the Lord still take care of his people, man. You know? Though they rebel, man. But guess what? The Lord is also gonna destroy two-thirds of his own people because guess what? They don't wanna they, they don't wanna hearken unto the voice. They don't wanna hearken unto the prophets that tell them, hey, repent, man. Hey, the worst, worst times, way, way worse times than you ever seen before or even heard about are coming upon the earth, man. You know, and if you don't repent, you're gonna be caught out there, man. You know, you're gonna be caught out there, and hey, and you're gonna be left to fend for yourself because y'all about some y'all shine on. He not gonna lift up that standard for you, man. You know, the standard's gonna be lifted for the elect, man. You know, Lord said when the enemy should come in like a flood, the Lord should lift up a standard against him. You know, and 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 by you, by you being the enemy of y'all about some y'all shine here, you you was an enemy, man. So the standard's not gonna be. The standard is going to be against you, man. You know? Not only Esau, Edom, but the standard is going to be against you niggas as well, man. You know? Don't get me wrong. The standard is against Esau, Edom as well, man. But you niggas, you're not a friend of you. How about some y'all shot? And if you're not a friend, you're an enemy, man. You know, the Lord said, I call you friends, man. But that's John 14, 15. The Lord said, I call you friends, man. You've been with me since the beginning of the world, man. First fear is created. You know? We help, Lord willing. We help the Lord create the the, uh, the earth, man. You know. <clears throat> it said, but this is verse um verse twenty two. Let's let's go back to twenty one. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth. See, you think you're in good case, but evils still bad times are still growing upon the earth, man. You know this devil is coming down with all kind of shit, man. You know so he could be so he could justify himself and coming in with that great wrath, locking everything down, uh, 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 stripping you of certain uh certain what you call rights, your freedom to go about, you know, to move move around, move about in this society. Um, ultimately, which is gonna lead to your um, the Revelation thirteen and sixteen, you know. <clears throat> it says uh. And even then shall evils grow up on the earth, the sword, famine, and then hey, a lot of people being put to death, man. A lot of people is a lot of people is being put to death, man. You know? It said famine and great confusion. It said for, for many of them, see, in, in Babylon it's the land of confusion, city of confusion, man. And the Lord's gonna break this place down, man. You know? It said, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and which is the worst way to go out, man. For your body to, 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 to basically cannibalize itself. It's basically what it's doing, man. It's eating itself, man. You know? It said, uh, <clears throat> shall the sword destroy? So like it. It said, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And the, on the other that escape hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dawn. And there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted and the cities Shall be cast down, man. Right, because man, you gonna have man all hell breaking loose. You not man, the people gonna be worried about trying to survive, man. You know, people gonna be worried about how the hell they gonna get the next meal, how the hell they gonna take care of their families. You know, people not gonna be man. Hey, that's hey, it's gonna be a dog week, dog world out here, man. You know, it said <clears throat> there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? So, and you also gotta, you also gotta know there's gonna be a shortage of men out here because the Lord is gonna bring uh, great death upon the land, you know, and not, not just great death upon on this land here, Babylon the Great, but you got the, or uh, you got the war that's gonna take place. You got the draft that's coming, man, you know, you got, hey, Esau gonna draft these people off onto the damn, onto the Middle East, man, you know, for the Battle of Armageddon, man, you know, for World War Three, man, you know. It said, um, the grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. So that once one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. Is it gonna be that it's gonna be a scarcity of men out here, man? Men are gonna be so scarce out here that like Isaiah 4 and 1 gonna have to come into place, man. These women, hey, hey, these women, they're gonna be glad to get with a man of of, of, of stability, you know? And also my stability of the mind, man. You know, Isaiah 33 and 6. They're going to be glad to be with a man 
preferably a man of the Lord, which is basically, it's going to be a man of the Lord who they desire to be with, man. You know, a man that got their spirit on him and the angels, uh, uh, and the angels encamped around him, man. You know, not like these other niggas that's going to be bugging out. The, the men who left, they're not going to be men of the Lord. Man, these niggas going to be bugging out, man. These niggas not, they, these niggas are not going to have that, um, these niggas, they basically, they're not going to be stable in the mind, man. They're going to be, they're going to be out of their fucking mind. They're going to be bugging the hell out, man. They're going to be, uh, they're going to be like a, like a fucking woman, man. You know? It said, for of a city, this is verse 28, uh, second letter 16 and 28. For of a city shall there be 10 left, and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves, and in the clefts of the rocks. You know? And the, and the Lord said they're going to eat their own flesh. These people are going to eat their own flesh. They're going to resort back to cannibalism, man. It's, it's going to be it's going to be a famine so bad in the land that these people are going to resort to eating their own kids, man. You know? These people are going to resort to eating their own, their own flesh, man. You know? On their own bodies, man. It said, as in an orchard of olives, upon every tree there are left three or four olives, or as where as when a vineyard is gathered, when when there are left some clusters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard, even so in those days there shall be left three or four there shall be three or four of them left so like it. I'm gonna read that over. Even so in those days there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. See, because you guys are going to know, this famine is going to cause um, neighbors to go to war. It's going to be invasion of, uh, of, of of neighbors, man. You know, sedition among men. Going back in 2nd Ezra 15 right quick. Let me go there. It said, uh, uh, Second as is fifteen and uh here it is verse sixteen. I'm gonna start at fifteen. It said, For the swore and the destruction draw it nigh, and one people shall stand up to, to fight against another, and swore us in their hands, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. So people are gonna be breaking in people's houses, man, for the lack of bread, man. Um and and they should not then they should not regard their kings nor princes. They don't give a damn about you calling nine one one, which probably it, it ain't gonna be no nine one one to call, man, because hell they gonna be in the same case. You know? The police is gonna be in the same case, man. And, and and the course of their actions should stand in their power. A man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. You know, because 'cause they're gonna have certain parts of the city blocked off, man. They're gonna have certain parts of the, the highways shut shut off, you know? It says, say, um, uh, verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be destroyed. So like the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And this is the point that I wanted to get right here. And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. For the lack of bread, for the lack of food, man. People are going to have their they, they booty spoiled, man. Women are going to be getting ravished, man. People are going to be getting their children taken. You know? Men are going to lose their lives because of the lack of bread, man. You know? See, see, and hey, man, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. Which, we haven't seen nothing yet, man. Shit is going to get way worse, man. And, and ain't no saving it. This this is not going to turn turn back, man. You know? the Lord When the Lord sent a famine on the land, this, this famine not going to turn back, man. You know? All this has got to be fulfilled. So, hey, because this is prophecy, man, you know? Going back to 2nd Ezra 16 and verse, uh... <clears throat> Let's start at 33, going back to 33. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms, and the women shall mourn having no husbands. The daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. 
So, hey, a lot of men has been to be put to death. Not just men either, man. It's a lot of women in these militaries, man. You know? It's a lot of women that think they're men. You know? And, 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 and they got that manly spirit. They got that masculine spirit on them. And the Lord's going to see to that. The Lord's going to get rid of that, man. You know? Because, hey, that's not the, that's not the nature of a woman to, have, to be masculine, man. A woman is supposed to be feminine, man. A woman is supposed to be a... Uh, 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 uh. She's supposed to take care of the house. You know? You know? See, see, men are made for war, you know? Men are made for war. Not women. Women are supposed to be behind, you know? Taking care of a man's seat at the house. Taking care of a man's household. Taking care of a man's children, man. A woman is supposed to be out there on the battlefield. Come on, man. This is 35, 16 to 35, second Ezra. <clears throat> hear, hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold the word of the Lord, receive it, believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Whom are no gods, basically. You know, it said, uh, behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. So the Lord said he's going to bring plagues upon this world, even even plagues that, that weren't even brought into Egypt, man. The Lord's going to bring other the Lord's going to bring more plagues than that, man. You know? As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth her son within two or three hours of her great birth pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the, word, and the world shall mourn and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. O oh, my people, hear the word, hear my word, and make you ready to battle. And in these, in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon, upon the earth. You know, and see, and we, hey, um, <clears throat> over that, um, I think it was Florida or something like that. They just issued a pack your bag, but the elders been saying it, man. Keep your bag ready, you know, on the side in case you got to flee. We got to flee, man. In case we got to flee, because the Lord say, be ye, be ye as pilgrims upon the earth. You know, moving from place to place, you know, not, not just sitting ducks, man, you know, but you know, the elect is of the, the elect is of the elect, you know, and Lord willing, we part of that number, but we still got to do what the Lord tell us to do, you know, let me see what that is, <clears throat> who that was, um, My old lady just sent that to me two days ago, two nights ago. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, listen, listen here. One second. So, what is this New York emergency broadcast system? is now coming out and telling the New Yorkers, pack you will leave in the hurry bag. A pack in the in a hurry bag in case you need to leave your house immediately. So what is this? See, New and the elders been saying that, man. It just, it just, it's just coming to pass, man. You know what that is? Jeremiah, um... What is that, Jeremiah 10? Let me see if I can grab that right quick. No, no, it's Jeremiah 28. <clears throat> it's Jeremiah 28. See, because the elders are not, the elders on down, we're not, we're not prophesying peace to come until after the destruction, you know? Destruction must come, man. The Lord, because the Lord is not coming to bring peace on earth, you know. Because He said he, He's not coming to bring peace on earth, man. He's coming to bring a sword. He's coming to bring destruction. He's coming to bring great death, you know. That's uh, <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter twenty-eight. Jeremiah twenty-eight and verse um.
Jeremiah 28 and 9. <clears throat> it said, The prophet which prophesied the peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then the prophet, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. Just like, like, and vice versa. If 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 the Lord sent, uh, if, if a prophet prophesied destruction to come, and that destruction come, then you should know that a prophet have been among you. You know, because the prophets are telling you, don't take the karagma. Don't I mean don't don't take that chip. Don't take damn the MOTB. Don't take none of that shit, man. You know? Don't take the damn the uh the, don't take the juice. You know? Repent to your power, man. Repent unto the God that made you. You know? Telling you who your enemy is, man. Revealing unto you who you are and what you should do to please your power, man. You know? Pray to your power for faith, you know? That's if you are truly repentant. You know? But yeah, I ain't want to make this too much longer. And what I don't have to say here, I say in the next video. But um, Lord willing, that was edifying. And with all that being said, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, a double honor to the apostles, the elder apostles, a great millstone, Shalom to the hopeful elect, wherever you may be, scattered abroad. And with that being said, I'm gonna say Kwam Yasharala, a Baba Ball, and Shalom.